What up, it's you, for today's video, we have a full Poliwag Evolution team. So this team is going to be consisting of four Pokemon only. We've got Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Polyrath, and Politoed. I wonder if we'll actually ever get any more evolutions in this line. So we've got the branch of Polyrath and Politoed. Interesting to thought there. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, this is where I do all my live streams, Steam Teams, Pokemon Tweets, all other forms of salty entertainment. I've got two really, really good battles with the Poliwag Evolution team, and I hope you enjoy. So I'm just trying to think what the day is tomorrow. Uh, we've got another thing team tomorrow, and then I've got a upcoming Undercover Pip Night. So that should be really, really awesome. Uh, the first battle here, this one was against Zilly King, and we got a very, very interesting battle here, especially with what Pokemon we both brought. So as I said before, I've got four Pokemon, and we got a Maractus lead here. So Maractus could possibly have Storm Drain. So I was worried. I have an Endeavor Rain Dance in Dual Waterfall Poliwag set with a Focus Sash. First thing what I want to do is I want to set up the Rain Dance here. I've got the Swift Swim ability, and I've got Max Speed and Max Attack on Poliwag. Now, instead of attacking me, the Maractus is going to go for a Cotton Guard Turn 1. Uh, to boost his defense three stages. That's a very, very big problem right there. So swapping into my Polyrath. This is actually a special Polyrath. And it's actually kind of interesting that um, I'm actually trying to think why Polyrath turned green and shiny compared to Poliwag and Poliwhirl. It's kind of interesting why it did that. But, uh, you know, you'd think that uh, Poliwag and Poliwhirl would be green too. Just thinking about that right there. So this is a special set. It's a Mind Reader. Focus Miss Hydro Pump set. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, so go for the Mind Reader there, and that'll actually guarantee my next hit on the uh, opposing uh, uh, Focus Miss set. So we got the Imaractus going for a lead sheet. It's going to miss. Focus Miss does a lot of damage there, so it's a clean 2 uh, Now Imaractus is going to put up a lead sheet. So it's just a stalling Maractus set here. Uh, you know, as you've seen, it's got Spiky Shield, uh, Cotton Guard, and Lead Seed. So maybe it's got... I don't know. I'm trying to think what the other move would be. Maybe Giga Drain or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, so regardless, it is going to be a bit of a pain in the uh, the backside there if you uh, really want to sit on a cactus. But man, that actually would really hurt sitting on a cactus. Okay. I know there's going to be one person out there that is watching this video right now that has honestly sat on a cactus. Please tell me your experience in the comment section below. Anyway, so in comes uh, Jenny the Jinx. It's going to go for a focus miss here. And of course, it's going to miss. Now we're going to have some uh, Leech Seed. Uh, damage against the Jinx. Now, Jinx also has dry skin as an ability too, so I'm like, wow, this team is like really quite good against uh, um, like my water type moves, right? I've noticed it's also got a sticky barb, so I'm thinking, what is this set going to be? So, going to Poliwell, this is a pretty interesting set here. Uh, the Jinx is going to go for a trick, and it's going to steal my Everlight, and Poliwell is going to obtain a nice, juicy, sticky barb. Now, this Poliwell set is a very, very bulky one. We've got max health and max defense. I don't have I had, don't have an Everlight because it's gone. And I've got a Rest, Sleep, Talk, Fissure, Amnesia set. So it's purely based on doing damage with uh, Amnesia. So uh, the Jinx is going to get Swift Scream and I'm going to get Dry Skin, which is kind of bad there. Um, but it's going to be kind of good if I can get the Rain up again. So unfortunately, my Fissure is going to miss. I'm going to take some more uh, Sticky Barb damage. So Poliwell with Everlight um, is quite bulky, right? But without that Everlight, it's not really all that bulky. So in comes the Nine Tiles here. Now, this is pretty interesting. Since I got given uh, Dry Skin, right, and obviously this is a strategy with the Jinx and the Night Tails, so the uh, Night Tails are going to come in here and I'm going to get damaged by uh, the Dry Skin because the sun is out now, right? Now I'm going to get damaged by the Sticky Barb and I'm going to get trapped in by the Fire Spin. So I'm going to take Dry Skin damage, Sticky Barb damage, and Fire Spin damage all at once. Unfortunately, Fissure is going to miss out. I could go for a rest here, but I am going to be taking lots and lots of damage and I don't really know what else that Nine Tails has got here, right? Uh, so Poliwell is going to go down to Sticky Bar before I can even use Rest. So bye bye Poliwell. But trust me, Poliwell comes back with a vengeance in the second battle. Next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Poliwrath. I mean, the best I can do is go for Focus Miss here. Here comes Confuse Race. So, so far, most of these Pokemon have just been like super trolling, annoying sets, right? Making me salty, which, you know what? I'll be real, I, I did expect. So, uh, Poliwrath is going to be confused right now. Focus Miss actually landed. Like, what? Uh, I've got in this one Max Health and Max Special Attack Modest Nature. 
Uh, I mean, even with the max press attack, Polyrath doesn't hit the hardest in the world. Even with like Hydro Pump and Focus Miss being such high uh, base power moves, like its special attack isn't the greatest. So the uh, Night Tiles is going to be a Fire Spin Trapping set with Attract and Confused Ray. Uh, I mean, the chance of me getting uh, just one attack off, like I've got to get through the Infatuation, right? And then I gotta get through the confusion. And I've gotta land a Hydro Pump or a Focus Miss. So the chances are very, very low that I'm actually gonna be able to do any damage. Now I've only got a Poliwag and a Politoed left, right? So I've got a Focus Ash Endeavor Poliwag, which I don't think is gonna work against this Nine Tiles because it's simply not dealing enough damage to me. So I wanna have a Pokemon that deals a lot of damage. Then I can make use of Endeavor, right? That was the strategy. No, I didn't really know what the other Pokemon were gonna do at this stage. So I thought, well, maybe I could get a Hydro Pump off here and do some sort of damage. So Night Tiles is also going to have uh, Willow Wisp here. So it's got Willow Wisp damage, it's got Fire Spin damage, it's got uh, Confusion damage, and it's got the, uh, you know, the, obviously the trapping into Fire Spin too, so you can't swap out. And it's definitely a bulky set, right? And uh, that, you know what the Night Tiles should be called instead of a, a Night Net? It should be called Night Night, because when you burst it, you go Night Night, all right? A Galaxy Brave. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to have some damage here from the uh, Bird and uh, the Fire Spin, and Night Tiles is going to confuse my Polyrath again. I really wanted to see how much damage one Hydro Pump would do, but the thing is I had to be able to land one, which was very, very tricky, right? Uh, so I get conf confused, and I got immobilized there. So I was like, dang, I need to get one Hydro Pump off. I'm, I'm not saying that I would one-shot it, but it would do a fair bit of damage, right? So Polyrath does have many, many turns to live here. Um, I'd say, like, one more turn, and then it's going to be fighting, and then I'm left with only a Politoed and a Poliwag. Uh, Nighttime's going to go for another uh, Fire Spin there. Obviously, it's not going to do a lot of damage. If I hit myself a Confusion here, I'm done. I get through the Confusion, which is good, and I actually get through the Infatuation and land a Hydro Pump. It's going to come right out of my belly there, and it lands on the Nighttime's, and Nighttime's takes incredible damage, but it lived on one hand. Oh, you wouldn't read about it, people. Like, how did that even live? So there you go. Uh, Polyrath is going to faint to, uh, you know, the uh, fire spin and all that other scum. Oh, I can't believe it lived. So bye-bye, Polyrath, but a valiant effort there. I've got to say, a very, very valiant effort. Two Pokemon left. I haven't taken a single Pokemon out. I've, I've, like, not even one. So going to Politoed here, what I want to do, right, is go for the... Uh, uh, get the Drizzle ability up. But I don't want it versus Nine Tiles, right? Because I'm running a physical set. And I already know that it's got Willow Miss, right? So swapping out and swapping into Poliwag here. Now, Poliwag's got Waterfall as his attacking move. So max speed and max attack. Uh, Nine Tiles going to go for the Confuse right here. So I thought, well, I'll be out out speed Nine Tiles, right? Because I've got Swiss Swim. And if I land a max attack waterfall in the rain, this will do a lot of damage to nine times, right? Easily will take it out. You know, it's only got a little bit of help. Even if it burns with uh, the will o wisp it's only got a bit left, so I should be able to do it. So getting past the confusion and hitting that nine tiles with a waterfall, finally I take a Pokemon out. It's taken nearly three quarters of this battle for me to do anything like that uh, the Nine Tiles and the Jinx combination was a great uh, you know counter strategy on my Pokemon. It was crazy. It completely shut them all down. So in comes in Torkoal. It's gonna have Drought. Obviously the Drought uh, was another like, was another backup with the Sun as well. And uh, we got the Jinx coming in here. So Jinx is gonna probably try and swap the abilities around again, right? So I'm gonna confuse and I went for a Rain Dance here because I want to keep that Rain on the field. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm thinking the Jinx may go for a skill swap again. So I'm thinking, hmm, this is a risky play, right? But if it does go for a skill swap here, I could potentially give my Poliwag dry skin, and it could be raining at the same time, which would be, like, super, super handy, you know, considering what sort of set I'm going to be running. I'll explain that in So Jinx does go for a skill swap here, and Jinx is going to get Drizzle, and I'm going to get dry skin, which is quite good, because that's going to heal me up during the rain, right? It's going to be bad when that Torkoal comes back in. So this is a Belly Drum, Liquidation, Earthquake set with Bounce as well. Max Speed, Jolly Nature, and Max Stack. So in comes the Torkoal. I did think they'd do that because obviously now that I've got Dry Skin uh, with the Sun Up, I will be doing damage with that too. So I thought here, well, this is going to be interesting. So go for Belly Drum on my Politoed. Um, I'm going to get a free turn of that, which is great there. So I've got plus six instant in attack now, and I'm going to eat my Citrus Berry, which was my item, and I'm going to take some dry skin damage. But what I wanted here is I actually wanted it to rain, because if I didn't make it rain, I was going to take extra uh, dry skin damage. 
And I need, to be honest, I need to actually start fainting some Pokemon because really all that I'd fainted so far was a Nine Tails with my Poliwag. And, you know, Poliwag really wasn't meant to be doing that sort of damage. Like, Waterfall was just there for coverage and stuff like that. Usually, it would be trying to take the opponent out with an Endeavorite. So, going to the Dynamax Politoed, they're easily the best Pokemon on my team. And what I wanted to do, right, is go for the Max Geyser. Uh, not only will that, uh, you know, set all the rain up on the field again, it'll stop me taking dry skin damage, and it'll take the Torkoal out, you know, all at once there. So that was really, really good. So bye-bye, Torkoal. Now, there is a Jinx there, which I know has got dry skin, so it's going to be able to swap in. Now, I don't know if Marax has got Storm Drain, but you'd probably assume that was what the ability it would have. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I was thinking, right? Our uh, next Pokemon to come in is going to be the uh, Ch Cherum. So, so their team is like a weather team. It's like a, a, just a sunny, uh, like a sun team, which is really, really interesting, right? So go for that uh, uh, the Max Airstream coming off the bounce right there, and Cherum is going to be no more. But uh, good to see Cherum being used right there. I did have, uh, you know, I did definitely had the advantage up there with the uh, speed and the plus six of attack at the moment. So our Politoed is ripping through these uh, next couple of Pokemon, and also it's healing itself up with a dry skin from the Jinx. Next Pokemon. Pokemon is the Maractus. Maractus is going to pop a uh, spiky shield here. I was like, I wonder if Maractus can actually live this uh, max airstream. This will be really, really interesting. I know it's still going to do lots and lots of damage, right? And since it already had prior damage to it, that was not enough uh, to stop my max airstream. So that's plus two in attack now uh, on the Politoed and bye bye Maractus. So all that's left now is a Jinx and one other Pokemon uh, based around the sun. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be the Jinx here. Now, Jinx, uh, the only move I can really do it, I can go Bounce, but it could miss. I've got Earthquake as my only option because I know the Jinx has got dry skin, right? So, uh, going for Earthquake, just but judging on the base power and plus six attack, you know, Jinx is definitely not going to be able to live that one. But, man, it, this uh, Politoed was so, so good to get me back in the game here. Like, all my other Pokemon completely countered them. I'm so glad they had like a uh, a Pokemon with access to such a like a powerful move like Belly Drop. Last Pokemon is a Helix. Uh, this is going to be uh, the Dynamax Pokemon here. Now I thought it at plus six. Even if Helix did Dynamax, that should easily be enough to take out. Like a Helix isn't very bulky, but I was concerned it might have a Focus Sash. But now I'm thinking, well, if Poly, if that is the case, Poliwag should. You know, be able to outspeed it there with its Swift Swim, so that should, uh, you know, be okay, right? And I don't think that says anything to get rid of the weather. However, it is going to get outspeared, and it is going to get taken out in one shot. And that, my friends, is the first battle. So, that, what a horrendous start to the battle, completely countered by the Jinx and Nine Tails. And Poly, uh, Politoed really pulled my butt out of the fire there. Thank you for the battle, Dilla King. And holy moly, the, <laughs> I got, I was so salty for like three quarters of that battle. Like, I can't do anything. Okay, let's get on to the second battle. This was a really, really long match. Well, this was against uh, Ricardo. And we got a 4v4 here. So the first Pokemon is uh, Beware. And I hope that I've got a Beware for this. So we got Poliwag. I'm thinking, Rocco, I might be able to make use of my Endeavor combination here. Now, Poliwag will be able to outspeed Beware easy peasy. So what I want to do is I want to set the Rain Dance up. I might be able to get two Endeavors off here or just one in case they get a swap right. So uh, here comes the Iron Head from Beware. So obviously they're going to try and flinch me. It did a lot of damage there. So I was thinking, okay, let's go for Endure. I want to at least make sure that Beware puts me down on one health. So then I can go for Endeavor and easily take it out, right? Beware's going to pop that um <laughs> that Body Slam. Poor Poliwag. And then I get paralyzed. I'm like, oh no, that's bad. Because if I get paralyzed, I won't be able to use Endeavor. But uh, fortunately, I was able to get the Endeavor off there. Uh, Beware's going to finish off the Ice Punch. So that's all good. Uh, pretty much Poliwag did its job there. Now, I could have gone for a uh, Waterfall there to try and go for a Flinch. But... It would have done nothing to beware. It's way too bulky. Uh, so bring in my Polyrath here. This is also a... Uh, I think this is Swift Swim. It's either Swift Swim or Damp. I try to use all the abilities on the Evolution team. Now, Beware's going to swap out. It's only got one health, so I wasn't really worried about it. And I went for Hydro Pump here. So now, Hydro Pump actually does pretty good damage to Gyarados. Now, Gyarados didn't have Intimidate, so it's probably going to have Moxie, right? So I was a little, like really, really worried about this. It's probably going to sweep my team with, I don't know, wa a water gun. So go for another Hydro Pump here. It's, it's about a four-hit KO, which is pretty impressive. And uh, now Gyarados is going to go for a Dragon End. So 
I do have Swift Swim ability, which is going to enable me to outspeed this, uh, like this turn. But if it does get another Dragonette's up, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get outsped, right? Uh, now we got the uh, Rain disappearing, so I'm going to get outsped this turn regardless of what my ability was. And it's going to have Scale Shot, right? Scale Shot doesn't do a lot of damage to me. Um, however, it is going to uh, increase the Gyarados' speed, which is going to be bad there. Um, with the Moxie, right? So once again, I'm going to reset that rain up there. That is going to help me with the damage. It's going to help out the rest of my team, too. I mean, I could have gone for Hydro Pump, but I could have missed, right? I'd rather go for Hydro Pump at least when the rain is up. Now, Gyarados is going to go for the Iron Head there. Iron Head doesn't do much damage at all. I'm going to get another Hydro Pump off here uh, from my Polyrath. Now, this is the third Hydro Pump I landed. And Gyarados is just going to live there like I you know, kind of thought it would. So here comes another Iron Head. They're clearly trying to flinch me here. And they got their flinch. And now they can easily take me out the scale shot there. So uh, whether I would have landed another attack there was another thing. Like all I had was Hydro Pump and Focus Miss. So I probably would have missed them anyway. So Gyarados is going to take out my Polar. Now, as I can see, it's got the Moxie as the ability. This is really bad. Even the most basic attacks here are going to do huge amounts of damage. And if this thing has got... A water type move like waterfall, it's still gonna do heaps and heaps of damage, right? So I'm really gonna have to go for a Dynamax on Polito here. I, there's no way I can go for Belly Drum, right? So I'm thinking, okay, let's go Max Airstream. That'll give me a plus one in speed, and I might be able to get maybe another KO after the Gyarados. It's very doubtful because Poly, you know, Polito's attack isn't very good. Like you need something like Belly Drum for it to do you know, significant amounts of damage there, right? I'm trying to think what. Yeah, what shiny I like more, Polyrath or Politoads? Um, out of the out of both Pokemon, I actually like Polyrath better, but I think I like Politoed shiny better. Like, I'm not a huge fan of those green like shinies. <clears throat> Dragonite. Never mind, it's nothing to do with Dragonite people. Anyway, so go for the Max Airstream there. Like, look at the damage that Waterfall did to me. Like, no joke. Um, that was heaps and heaps of damage, right? Uh, so getting a plus one in speed there, Gyarados is finally going to go down, and I finally took my Pokemon out. Now, I knew that Beware wouldn't come in here unless they wanted to stall out my Dynamax, and out comes Porygon too. I'm like, oh no, this is really bad, because if this is an Everlight set, which I'm a thousand percent sure, I'm going to do like no damage this or whatsoever. So go for Max Geyser in the rain. That actually did really good damage considering, right? Until I seen the uh, Porygon 2 going for a defense card, I'm like, uh oh, this is bad. So uh, it's got defense, girl. I'm thinking, what sort of set is this going to be? It's going to have to have recover, right? And two other moves. Whether there's a uh, two coverage moves there for damage or just one status move like tri type I wasn't really sure, right? Uh, so Porygon's going to go for recovery. This is going to be able to easily stall out my um, Dynamax, right? Now, I'm thinking to myself here, I might be able to get a Belly Drum off here, right? But even if, let's say I get a Belly Drum off here, I'm going to lose the rain very soon. And, you know, I really don't know how much this is going to do. But I had absolutely nothing to lose here and everything in the game. So go for Belly Drop. I lived on two health. It was very, very close. And now I'm going to eat my Citrus Berry, right? Which is going to give me a bit of health back. Hopefully enough to live Porygons to attack if it does attack me. Instead, it's going to go for another defense skill, which was a good call there. They had no idea that I had uh, Belly Drum. So at this stage, I've got a, quite a few uh, defense boosts here. Unfortunately, the rain stops, which is really bad. That's actually going to really, really affect the amount of damage that I do. Uh, now they're going to go for a Dynamax Porygon here, which was interesting. So, I mean, at least it's not their fourth Pokemon. Not that I know what their fourth Pokemon is, right? Because they had six Pokemon in Team Preview, and they only brought four along. So, I got no idea what that other one is, right? So, that's probably the biggest uh, blue and pink duck you've ever seen in life. It's going to go for a Max Guard here. So, I, I guess at least that's one of their turns. The Dynamax gone. They probably just wanted to see what move I was going to use. So, Liquid Action. So go for Bounce out. I thought, well, if I go for Bounce, I can potentially store all of the Dynamax out. Heck, I might even get a Paralyze, right? Uh, so here comes a Max Hailstorm. I'd say that's coming off Ice Beam. And Bounce is going to miss. I would have liked that extra damage, but it is what it is, people. Here comes the Max Hailstorm from the Porygon uh, 2 right here. And that was not enough to take out the Politos. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, I can live the next turn as well, like, even though it's uh, not raining. Um... You know, Polito can live like one more turn of hail, which is great, right? So, uh, bye bye Dynamax Porygon 2. Once again, I would have liked to land that bout. Not that it would have done a lot of damage, but uh, I could have got a paralyzed. Uh, so, go for the uh, liquidation here. Now, I know this definitely won't take it out. Porygon's very bulky and it's got defensive boost up already. Uh, here comes the finishing ice beam on my Polito. Now, this was where the battle got long exactly like something else, right? 
Now, I've got this po a Poliwell, right? Remember on the first battle I said Poliwell comes back with a vengeance? It sure does in this battle. This is the best performing I've had of this Poliwell uh, so far. Uh, so I went for an Amnesia just right away there. Um, I want to make sure that I can leave any special moves super easy, right? Uh, the Polygon 2 is going to go for a Kawas. I'm like, okay, that's that's cool. Um, they don't know that I've got Fissure. So Fissure, if it lands, is easily going to take out Porygon. So that's not really much of a problem. Uh, the only thing I have to worry about here is maybe if I get frozen by Ice Beam. Uh, it's always it's always a thing, right? It's always a thing that can happen. Uh, so go for another Amnesia with uh, Everlight and stuff like that. I'm so bulky right now with Max Elf and Max Defense, right? Uh, instead of having another attacking move, they had Eerie Impulse, which is really, really cool. Like, that was an awesome move that you hardly ever get to see it being used. So I guess they did that in, in hopes that I had a special move here. Um, which I don't. It would have been a good move if I had something like Scold or whatever like that. Uh, now they know that I've got Fissure, and here comes the Ice Beam here to try and freeze me. So they did have uh, three other Pokemon here potentially uh, you know, to use against my Poliwell. Now I was confident if that Beware came in there, um, it wouldn't be able to take me out in one hit. Like In, in fact, I, I believe the Body Sams would do absolutely nothing. And uh, the fish is going to land on Porygon too, so that's great that's gone. So, okay, Beware can't come in. And their last Pokemon is Rotom Moa. Oh, no. It's got Levitate. So, uh, here comes a Foul Play here. Foul Play's got to do nothing, right? Because, uh, obviously, we are... Uh, I actually ran this one as a hindering... Uh, I think I might have been hindering an attack. I didn't really care about a special attack or, you know, attack stats, right? So, I'd rest on this thing, and I'd sleep talk, right? And I'm thinking here, since I've got, like, loads and loads of amnesias up... I should easily be able to PP stall this Rotom, like, easy. But the problem is, we've got a 20-minute timer here. Now, Beware can't come in here unless it comes in and hits me with maybe... It would have to be a Body Slam crit to do any any sort of damage. I don't even know if they're at the Beware is max. Let, let's just say that Beware was max attack, though. It would need to be a crit. Like, definitely be a crit. Uh, so go for a rest here, and it's going to fail. I think I've got Sleep Talk Press. And the other... They had um, Shadow Ball. They had Discharge, yeah. Now, what I did right is I skipped a little bit after just showing this, because this went on for, like... I believe it went on for about 10 minutes, uh, give or take, right? It was a very, very long amount of time. Pretty much what I did is I got all of my... I got my special defense to the max here. And as you can see, Discharge was their most strongest attack at the moment. And it was doing nothing, right? It, like, they use up all their PP super easy, right? And I was quite confident if I went for rest, and even if I didn't go for sleep talk, I could just go for rest, and I believe I could beat this Rotom after a while. And even if I got down to the where and I struggled, we'll be where and in one health. I mean, it might have had Drain Punch, that's something else it could have had too, but I really wasn't sure uh, you know, what all like, the moves were, right? So I went down to the last uh, 40 seconds of the battle. They had a Leaf Storm hidden up their sleeve, but as you can see, Leaf Storm did hardly anything, and they also dropped their special attack too. Amazing making it them do further, like, uh, less amounts of damage there. So that's pretty much it for this battle, people. I could not get past their Rotom, but their Rotom couldn't get past by Poliwell, and Beware couldn't swap into Poly, uh, Poliwell either. So it was essentially a stale male battle. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I might have been able to stall both Pokemon out, but regardless, it was a really, really fun match there, and I kind of wish we had a full hour. It would have been cool to go... Like, most battles, I don't care about going down to the battle, but that would have been really cool at the end. Anyway, people... Peace out.